5 a.m. It's uh, Sunday, December 4th, and uh, we're in St. Lucia. I have a tour that leaves in like uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, it's like a boat tour that takes us to the Pitons, the uh, beach, etc. I was on a tour. Uh, I did a similar tour here last time that took me to the, the Pitons, the Caldera, the Mud Spring. Uh, but uh, here's, here's the captain there. From the local point for you to see the show. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a very pleasant stay today in Salute. Check it out in the background. You can see the uh, you can see the other surrounding islands back there. I think uh, they said Martinique is close, which is the French island. I'm not kidding you. There must have been hundreds of people in line for this excursion but uh fortunately they had like four different catamarans i should have booked a more expensive excursion perhaps this portion of the tour was really unorganized and they had us standing here for maybe 30 minutes a lot of the uh passengers were uh, uncomfortable standing and they were some of them were like sitting on the curb and such yeah that part was quite unorganized they broke that huge group of hundreds of us into individual groups of 50, and I was the first person in the next group, so I followed uh, this guy down to the catamaran, and we boarded not too long after. Confirmed it's, uh, I'm good. It's uh, Martinique over there, 20 miles away. Yeah, sailing around here on the uh, west coast of the uh, island of St. Lucia and uh, the waters are really calm today and uh, said it's the like the mating season for like the whales, the dolphins and humpback whales, pilot whales, etc. So I'm trying to keep an eye out here. I thought I saw a flying fish. Could have just been a bird. St. Lucia is relatively uh, undeveloped. Their main uh, crop here is bananas. Friends, what I was just telling them in the cabin, we're going to be spending 40 minutes at the beach right there for zero. For those of you who have snorkeling equipment, if you want to do that, you're going to be doing so to the left hand side of the cave that is closer to the rocky area, all right? Yeah, 
Yeah, I was gonna take my phone on the beach, but we're in like six, seven feet of water. So Look at those two. Seems like uh, seems like uh, a lot of work to protect this phone. I don't have my waterproof case or anything. All right, we have arrived at the beach portion of this trip. They took us into this little uh, cove here. They anchored the boat down in about 15 feet of water and they put down the ladder in the front of the boat so the passengers could get out and swim. They have these vendors that are in these hard kayaks and they swim up to the boat and try to sell you coconut water drinks Pretty, uh, and uh, over here. various little knickknacks and stuff. A little bar so uh, people were checking those out and getting those. Uh, I ended up going to the beach but I did not bring my phone because uh, I didn't want to risk bringing it in the water. So. I ended up just leaving it on the boat. On the way to the beach from the cruise ship terminal, we passed by many fishing villages on the coast. Uh, this boat, uh, this like yellow and white boat over here with like four guys on it, these guys are from one of those fishing villages and they're trying to sell an octopus to the crew members on our boat. He did buy that octopus from those fishermen, and he's like cleaning it back there with the knife. Pretty gross. Ugh. You can see the snorkelers over there. I should have brought my uh, boat or my uh, snorkeling stuff. I'm good, man. Thanks. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. A lot of. Uh, Little catamarans here. I think the one on the left is the snorkeling tour. Uh, I don't really know the name of this beach. Pretty interesting. Oh, you can see there's another cruise ship like way out there. But uh, yeah, a fishing boat came right up to us. Last time I was here, we went to the fishing village and uh, the fishing village was cool. They were like chopping up a marlin or something out there. All right, we're sailing out of here. I don't know where we're going now. Uh, uh, yeah, I spent about an hour here. All right, over to the pitons. I'm getting a lot of sun out here. I probably will regret this later. Even though I put sunscreen on three times, I'm probably gonna regret it. Helicopter tour looks sweet. Getting spoiled on this cruise. Uh, had beautiful weather every day. Beautiful islands, beautiful weather. I don't want to jinx it, but hardly any rain at all. The scenery is 
Yes, we will simply because it was closer to us. Even the one that was the right hand side to be the bigger one of the two. Approximately 2,600 dollars. For those of you wondering if they can Two miles on land and a mile on by sea. over here and uh, these two peaks 2600 uh, feet up and uh, they look connected but they're two separate land masses here uh, they're about two two miles apart there so and, uh, yeah they're separated by uh, I think a mile of ocean also so pretty cool at this uh, resort over here the water here is very very clear and blue it's really nice This one, right? Yeah. 
unbelievable over here. Look at this guy. Look at this guy over here. The speedboat. Ripping it. Take it easy, guy. We're just we're just trying to have a good time. We're just trying to relax. Throwing up some wake from that boat. Uh oh, here come the splashes. Sploosh. them make me a Roman Coke with their uh, stuff on the boat. Yeah, I don't know. I had too much rum punch. I needed something else. I don't know. We're like... It's catamaran something. It's not ca Yesterday was, or uh, two days ago was Castaway Girl 2 in uh, St. Thomas, but... Uh, my new house right there.
all these like old school songs. I love them, but uh, uh, YouTube uh, the record industry they hate when you put this shit in your fucking monetized videos. Yeah, some of the times they won't even let me post them at all, so I might have to go in and post production and remove some of it. But what can you do? Alright, for our third stop, we are at Marigo Bay. Marigo Bay is a little party area. There are a lot of boats in here, just uh, having fun. This catamaran over here with the uh, kayak and the grill on the side. He's, got a, he's rocking a French flag, which makes me think he might be from Martinique, which means he sailed at least 20 miles to get here today. That is prone to flooding. Marigo Bay. It is Marigo. also ironic because this is where vessel owners would come to birth their vessels in the event of a hurricane or a storm approaching, simply because it has never been affected by a hurricane or a storm in the past. The reason for that is because it is a double basin bay, so the waves would have to crash in the outer bay before they can take it to the inner bay. For those in the of inner bay of Marigo. The original Dr. Doolittle, the one with Rex Harrison, part of it was actually built in this bay, which is why the restaurant to our left hand side is called the Doolittle's Restaurant at the Bar. So when you go over there, you could do little or do much, it is your choice, alright? You have road access to the bay, up to the right hand side. If you want to get from the right side to the left side, you will have to take the ferry across. Reason for that, the island's largest mangrove swamp is situated to the left hand side of the inner bay. So Marigo Bay is considered to be a self-sustained bay. Reason for that, it has its own restaurants. Supermarkets, police stations, customs, and immigration, you name it. See the hurricane hole over there? This area, uh, because of the uh, lady was saying, because of the structure of the bay, it has two mouths. So this area has never been destroyed in a hurricane. You have some brown cottages. All that is part of a resort. It was once owned by the very same company who owned the Kelly University, but they sold it off not too long ago, and I believe that name right now is Marigo Beach Park Resort. So we're only closing in just to give you guys a photo opportunity. We're not stopping. Got a lot of content today. All right, back to the uh, cruise ship terminal. guys know this sandals sandals boat are uh, going on an excursion over there yeah yeah they're like I think they're right around here yeah so that's sandals excursion here comes the wake yeah oh yeah the Holland America the big boat oh the big boat was in port and that little one is in there now 
I'm not really sure which one that is. Tour the boat tour round off. St. Lucia's almost done. It was like the Patone, the Patones, the uh, Marigot Bay, and uh, we went to some beach. I was looking for a name for the beach, but it was very, uh, very small and uh, undeveloped beach, so I couldn't tell you what the name. There was a resort next to it, but again, it was a really small, like uh, rustic kind of place. But uh, this cru this uh, tour was really, uh, really good because uh, I mean, we were probably cruising on the boat for like four hours. Like, I don't think I ever, I, I, I don't think I ever did this far of a distance on a can brand in one day before so it's a hell, hell of a trip and uh, yeah I could have brought my snorkeling mask but it doesn't really matter so all right back to the enchanted princess uh, thanks guys for watching this vlog of uh, St. Lucia tour here's another helicopter Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to Barbados and uh, on Tuesday, which is uh, uh, the day after, we'll be in uh, St. Kitts. Yeah! Woo! I asked one of the crew guys where I could go to get a drink and uh, he let me know most of the bars in St. Lucia aren't open because it's Sunday. But this pink papaya bar in the port was open and uh, I actually ran into some friends I knew from the ship there. So I drank there, had a fish wrap and Nobody uh, beats crazy had a duty deals. free, got myself a bottle of banana rum cream and uh, after that got back on the boat and called it a day. Thanks for watching and check out the St. Kitts vlog.